Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Shining Pearl the series. I'm Big LT. And I'm Mr. Parker. I stuck around. Yep. So, we're going to this place. <sighs> and like I said in the, at the end of the last episode, like I said at the end of the last episode, we're gonna find our next team member in here. Ah. Yeah, if she doesn't kill it first. I Not will... like it's the end of the world, because there's I won't say more, but still. I will make sure actually I'm pretty good with catching the Pokemon even with her around. Just watch, but then you get a shiny. I have the extra Pokeballs, and I am prepared for that. Nope, none of these are it. <coughs> it's such a shame, because Chansey is so strong on her team. Yep. Which is weird, because Chansey has like a, what is it, a base attack of 10? I was going to say, everyone knows Chansey's used to create... A wall. It's supposed to be a bulky healer kind of Pokemon, not necessarily. Special, like, it's a special wall. A special wall? Okay. It's it's what's referred to as a special wall because its special defense is high, but its defense sucks. You, I think you can compensate for that because I've heard some people turn it into like just a full out. Was that a different animation? It it can happen every now and then. I've never seen that. Yeah, um, it, it can happen every now and then. At least uh, in this game. I've heard some people turn into a full-out wall by, like, maxing out its HP to make up for its um, defense issues. Mm -hmm. And then, like, just throwing it in to just take hits mm -hmm. while other Pokemon on the team do, like, damage. Here, uh, here uh, here's the thing. It's a stall wall. Yeah, stall wall. There we go. Here's the thing. So, I'm actually going to do this. It's going to seem kind of stupid, but don't worry. I didn't have these Pokemon I'm going to catch. But this is just a, a little um, demonstration. I'm going to use Spark on Chansey, and you're going to see, with 111 HP, how sucky its defenses are. Oh, Spark a physical electric move? Yes. Oh, shoot. Okay, well, I guess this is a bad example to use uh, Spark. <laughs> bad, bad example to use Pachirisu for this. Bad example. I'm like, Spark is not the strongest of electric moves. Yeah, well, I mean, Pachirisu. You were trying to show off its crappy defense with a crappy electric physical move, and it just didn't work. Hey, I like <laughs> <sp> <laughs> I, I, I like Spark. I like Spark. Spark is great when it works. Yeah, it's just Pachirisu. I, I should yeah, I was, yeah, Pachirisu is probably not the best to show that off. Yeah. You might want to switch it into like. Yeah, I still have a chop. I'll do yeah. it that way. Well, no, that's a fighting type. Any move you use on it's gonna hurt like heck. No, that's what was a special attack. Because even a, like a. Okay. So or, you can use a special fighting type move on it and it will live? It will live, trust me. You could use Aura Sphere on the sucker and it will live. Ah. But anyway, uh, out of these. Sleep it. No, it is physical. I'm going to use the weaker of the two. It is by five. I am curious to see this. Okay. Also, I never realized how long Chansey's tail is. <clears throat> Yeah, see, look at that. And that's that's with a physical. The, the thing is, is that you couldn't one KO it though. Or you could Oko it. Well, first off, and you can't protect your shinies from dying if you can't Oko it. First off, Machop is a is a uh, an evolved Pokemon. Chansey is a is a evolved Pokemon. True, but its previous evolution is a baby Pokemon. True. <laughs> it's not like Scyther, where it has the stats of a fully evolved Pokemon, mm. despite being. But I think First I, but I think stage. I made my, I think I made my point in the end. So no, I, I would have to see it with something that isn't a fighting type because you already got the boost from being a fighting type. Who? She's not speaking because she knows. Yes, Benaria is actually going to be on the team. Yeah, I wanted you to say it. If I said it, I was going to get sent back to the corner. I don't uh, want to go back to the corner. It's dark over there. It's okay. Anyway, it's under um, the stairs, and there's a dripping pipe and cobwebs. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, I am actually going to take out the Bidoof first. Oh, you're, you're not worried that Chance is just going to absolutely body that Veneri? Not right now. Because I know my Machop will. So let's see. Here. If only it was dark out, I can use this, but I'm not going to. And part of me wanted to catch it in a Premier Ball, but I don't think it's going to be worth it right now. Also, I may have to catch another Baneri. There is a reason for that. Okay. That is if that reason comes up. Hey, I caught it! Oh, is it because of its ability? 
One of them, yes, but I won't say what. Okay, I'm not familiar with all of Veneer's abilities, so... I am. There is one that would work, and I want to make sure it gets you the You want work. a specific one? Yes. Does sure. it match the theme of the team that you're going for, or is it because you just like that ability more? I just like the ability more. I don't even know about the theme of the team, to be honest. No. So, it has... Perfect! Oh my god, it lowers special attack. This is a perfectly good Veneer Wait, right wait, here. go back to its stats. Special attack down, special defense up. That is really. Oh, good. doesn't Veneri have way more physical attacks? Or yes, Lopani? It, it, yes. Veneri, uh, to me, I believe Veneri and Lopani are better physical attackers than they are special attackers. Fair enough. And because it's got Ray's special defense, you don't even have to worry. Damn. If uh, you're not doing anything with special attack, all its other stats are looking fine. Yeah. And here's another thing the ability is perfect. I want Runaway. And even cooler, it's female. Ah, there you go. Yeah, you hit the jackpot with that one. Yes. And it's a decent level. You don't have to do too much leveling up with it. Yep. That is perfect. I wonder what the lowest level in Eternal Forest is. For a Veneri? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's 10. Oh. Because I've never seen I've never seen level 9 Veneris. I wonder what the highest level would have been. I think it would be 12. I was going to say, I feel like it's usually like a, a 1 to 2 level difference. Yeah. But then again, I've seen some, throughout my years of playing, I've seen some routes where, like, the level difference can be up to five levels different, so. Well, it varies. <coughs> it varies on the game. It varies on the Pokemon, actually. Yeah, it varies on the Pokemon, and it varies on the game. I am going to use Revenge. I have not learned my lesson. <laughs> actually, I have learned my lesson. No, you just got lucky. Oh, shoot. Maybe yeah, not. no, you have, ha, 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 you have not learned it. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're fine. You have not learned your lesson. Well, we'll see here. If I can break through it, then we're good. This is why I prefer having the quick wall on it. There it is! Oh. You got lucky. Eat it! Eat you it, got Bob Teresa. Lucky. Eat it! Oh. <laughs> that was so cool. You got lucky. Yep. Oh! Cured the paralysis. Thank you, Chansey. They're actually useful for once. Wait, how did it do that? It had a healer as an ability. Oh, is that just heal statuses along yes. the way? Yes. Because oh, that's a new ability for me. I never even realized that. Yep. Is Chansey the only one who gets that ability? Uh, I'm, pretty sure, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's a whole one thing that, but maybe it's a hidden ability. I feel like I've never come across healer before. You can always look it up. See if, yeah, see no. If, I'm curious up. as to why I've never come across it. Oops. Very curious. I feel like I've never Sweetest. had this happen. Ah, confuse the beautifly. Thank you. I am playing risky here. It could have gust. I'm pretty sure it has gust. Yep, there's gust. It went for Chansey. It's because it's <coughs> gust is a physical flying move, right? Special. It is odd that it aimed for Chansey then. Yeah. Then again, Chansey's quite tanky, so it might be... Well, the confusion didn't matter. It's still going for Chansey! <laughs> what the hell? AI is confused. Yes, I believe it. Anyway, that beautiful is up. We still got one more Pokemon from this team. And there you also leveled up. Uh, don't need a scary face. Oh, there's the level up. Oh, was... this is why I haven't come across it. Hidden ability? No, because, first of all... It's on Audino, and I've never done anything with Audino. Okay. It's on a Loma Mola, and I've never done anything with an Loma Mola. Okay. I've also never done anything with Spritzy or Aromatease. Though that would be an interesting thing for you to do sometime. And for whatever reason, I've never, even though I really, really like the Pokemon, mm -hmm. I have yet to put a Hatna, Hatteram, or Hatterene on my team. So I haven't come across it with them. And Enamorous was a late catch in, in um, Arceus, so I never did anything with that. Okay. And then you are correct for Chansey, Blossom, and Blissey. Healer is their hidden ability, which is why I hadn't seen it on them before. So, so this... it's just a coincidence that I've literally never come across it. It's just bad timing on my part. So I'm kind of curious how you can get hidden abilities in this game to begin with. <coughs> I have no idea. Well, actually, technically you probably could if you get the Pokemon from like other games. I've always been confused on how to get hidden abilities, mostly because I just failed to look it up after it became more, more common knowledge what they were. Yep. Okay. And it doesn't uh, have something to do with breeding. Uh, you can get hidden abilities through breeding if you need more of them. How do you find a hidden ability in the wild? Is it just random? In this game? 
No, I mean in general. Uh, I knew in Sword and Shield you can you can possibly get I think you can possibly get one from the dens, as well as the. I was um, gonna say I have no idea how to locate hidden ability Pokemon, and I have no idea how you get hidden abilities on your Pokemon that you want for your team, outside of breeding. Right. But apparently you have to do something special to get hidden abilities when you breed. I don't know. I didn't look it up. Feel free to chuck chuck that into the comments. That <laughs> that one I wouldn't mind. If you have a complete a complete um like college level paper that you want to send me in PDF form, <laughs> feel free. Uh, I'm all for it. I'd love to get some hidden abilities. Okay. I'm just lazy. <laughs> oh, I forgot Abra could have energy ball on it. Uh, in the original, I actually had hidden power. I was gonna say, typically that's what it would be. Yep. It's a good thing you didn't have your um, perm flop out. That, and I was also curious that I, I was also trying to make sure I didn't have a chop out. Even though it has a dark type move and it wasn't super effective, I didn't want to run the risk of possibly that it had a psychic type move. Yeah, I don't I don't know how many psychic type moves Abra actually has at this level. Uh, because by now it should, it's level 17, so it should have evolved already. It should have evolved into Alexam. No, Kadabra. Kadabra, sorry. Mm, yeah, my bad, my wording. Uh, yeah, no, it evolves at level 16. So, at level 16 it learns Confusion, I think? I think level Abra? 16 when... Abra... Only... No, Kadabra. Kadabra learns Confusion all the 16 once it evolves, yes. Yes, exactly. Abra... But Abra, I don't know. Abra, level yeah. up-wise, only knows Teleport. I was gonna say, it shouldn't have any other second type moves on it, unless these it's... trainers be, be hacking no, and, no, 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 and no, throwing no, no. in some TM moves on us. Well, yeah, they 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 throwing in the, the TMs. That is... Oh, that the, is... the wild... The NPC trainers have TM moves on their Pokemon? Yes. I can't believe I didn't notice this. Actually, uh, believe it or not, uh, because we didn't see this in the gym battle, Rourke's Cranidos actually has um, Bulldoze, if I remember right. <coughs> oh yeah, that is a TM, isn't it? Yep. Which you didn't have in the original because I believe... I thought I... Bulldoze came from Gen 5. It does, but with because this being kind of associated with Gen 8... Yeah, it... this, is a, this is a Gen 8 remake, essentially, yeah. so... Well, it's a, Gen, it's a Diamond Pro remake, but it just so happens to be in the Gen 8. Yeah. Well, it, it depends. There are, like, there are two groups of people. They're like, Generation is based on like region, and everything in that region is that Gen. Mm -hmm. So everything Galar is Gen 8, everything Sinnoh is Gen 4. And then there's the video game players who do Generation based on what games came out along with the mainline game for that particular generation. So Gen 4's mainline game started with uh, Sinnoh with Pearl and Platinum and Diamond. And then before the next generation was made, they mm -hmm. did a remake of... Um, does that one leave green and Fire so, Red came out? And also along Soul Silver and uh, Heart Gold? Uh, what are you talking about? Uh, remakes. For Fire and Red, they, they made a Leaf Green, Fire Red, and then they made Soul Silver and Heart Gold as remakes right after making Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. Uh, and that's why they're considered part of Gen 4. Well, hang on, hang on. Because um, I think Fire Red and Leaf Green are. I could be wrong. Hey, here, here's the thing. Um, when Ruby Sapphire came out, and I think Emerald as well, that's when Fire and Leaf Green was also coming out. Oh, then they're Gen 3. Okay. Yeah, they're Gen 3. So technically speaking, so Harko and Soul Silver are Gen Four because they came out yeah, in the same with time the, with the DS, as with the DS. With the DS, yeah. At the same time, the next new region was made, so Sinnoh, yep. and then Gen Five only started when Unova came out. So any games made before Unova, but after Sinnoh, are all Gen Four games. Yeah. So yeah, if you if you do it based on region, you get a little confused. If you do it based on the games, you get a little confused. So you always have to clarify. But anyway, um. You didn't even mention this one out of all the remakes, but X and Y had, had one of the remakes too, and that was the Omega Ruby and Out Sapphire yep. Gen 3 remakes. Yep. Which actually is my favorite. Gen like, 3 remakes within Gen 6. Yeah. I will, I, I, I'm, it's probably just me, but I do like my Gen 3s, so when the remakes happen, I was. I do. I like Harko. No, sorry. I like Omega Ruby and Out Sapphire. I yes. feel like they are very good remakes. And I also love the whole primal reversion they gave for. Kyogre and Grotto. I did like that. And then Rayquaza got a Mega Evolution, but it was like super OP. Oh yeah. Like it, it's got it's got to be banned across all tournaments because of it. Well, they were trying. They weren't gonna make a remake of Emerald, so they really had to like 
get Rayquaza to have more importance. And I think that's they why did the a Delta, really good that's, job. That's yeah, with the, the Delta episode and yeah. everything. Including the, including the fact that they added Deoxys yeah. in, in the game, too. For yeah, that. no, it was, they, it was Which, very successful compared the, to this. Well, that's, here's my reason why they this added... This is a faithful remake. I am air-quoting behind the camera here. Yeah. There's a reason why I believe uh, Deoxys exists in, as catchable in... Um, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and why it's tied to the way it's tied. <coughs> I believe it to be not, I believe it to be like a nod to Destiny Deoxys, how Deoxys yeah. and Rayquaza were fighting all that time. Oh, yeah. That's the reason why I was thinking, like, oh, I get it. You know? Oh, yeah, no, the sixth movie, was it six or seven? Sorry, six is Jirachi. Seventh movie, Destiny Deoxys. Um, yes, yes. I definitely right. got the feel that uh, Delta episode was a nod to it. At least the ending part where you take Rayquaza to go fight uh, Deoxys. That was... I liked that. No, it, it was... Um, in the movie, it was Ash and his friends um, help trying to find... Um, the Deo lost Deoxys. Yes. No, I'm just saying, I enjoyed the little nod to the movie. It very much reminded me of the fight between Rayquaza, who lives in the Ozone, and Deoxys, who was coming down looking for its friend and causing chaos in the process. No, his friend was with him in that in that meteorite. Um, no, no. The, they, the other one came down to look for him after no. the friend had to hibernate. No, 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 no. That's the thing. Did, both Deoxys crashed into, into the Earth, and because the other one could not regenerate into a Deoxys, it was dormant, um, Deoxys tried to re, tried to regenerate itself, but, De but Rayquaza came down and attacked Deoxys, and... After Rayquaza beat Deoxys, that's when... Um, yeah, but its gem, that... before it could regenerate, was hanging out in like the upper layers, so it had to come back down. No, listen. It, um, yeah, when, when Rayquaza beat Deoxys, Deoxys' little crystal went into the, into the uh, ICC because they were in the Arctic. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that scene. Yep. And then, um, oh, and then man. When, and then that's Ray... my bad. Yeah, and then when Ray Rayquaza went back to the ozone layer... Um, the uh, the people that witnessed the battle happening, they found the other Deoxys that um, that wasn't regenerated. So doesn't they, doesn't Deoxys hide up in the upper layers from humans and Rayquaza towards the beginning of the movie before kids and chaos in the city after it comes out of the the ocean? Hang on, I'm trying to get to something. You keep interrupting. I'm sorry. You want to go back in the corner? No, I'm sorry. But anyway, don't use the belt. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm very kidding. Continue. Okay. But anyway, so there was the, uh, I believe the uh, professor um, and the other people that, that brought the uh, dormant Deoxys back with them to that city that was full of uh, technology and everything. Just study it. Yeah, for, for many years, for many years, try to, try to regenerate it and everything At themselves. Yeah. And they couldn't do it with their machines. And... After, upon doing that, after all those years, that's when the original Deoxys that Rayquaza was battling has resurrected itself and regenerated itself and went and it actually located its friend <coughs> back at that, uh, that uh, techno technological... How have I misremembered things so poorly? I don't know. It's been, <laughs> it's been a, and it's been a while since I've watched it, but somehow I'm still so remembering it. Yeah. No, you're right. Like, I'm, I'm now flashing back. I'm like, no, Rayquaza comes out of that water. Not Rayquaza, sorry. Deoxys comes out of that water and is like, where is my friend? Yep. Over there. Yep. Zoom. Yep. And then, and then, upon a while looking at his friends, because of all the technology and everything that's disrupting its uh, look to try to find it and everything, it, um, it basically causes um, a barrier and... Can, and basically, that's right. The city had a barrier. No, Deoxys had the bar Deoxys created the barrier, and that caused all the wind turbines to, to stop. Are you sure Deoxys created the barrier? Deoxys carried, created the barrier because of its defense form. Okay, I'm gonna go back and rewatch this movie. There's clearly a lot that I've forgotten. Yeah, because that was the. What do I remember? Metagross. What do it, I not remember? Everything else. Because you don't know, remember the reason why Deoxys created the barrier? No, I do. He wanted to keep things from getting in and out because electronic, no. uh, magnetic si signals no. were causing problems. No. It was because Rayquaza was coming back to to challenge him again. Rayquaza descends Deoxys and went to challenge him again. I feel again. like it's both. No, because that was the no, because no, 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 Listen, Deoxys saw Rayquaza coming back down to challenge him, so he went into defense form, created the barrier around the city. That caused the wind to stop coming into the city, hence this wind turbine uh, prevented, were, were stopped, causing this machines to to basically cease 
And that's when Deoxys created, at the same time, Deoxys created all those clones of himself, like, via through, like, Double Team or some crap like that. Yeah. To basically kidnap everybody else and put them into, like, a storage thing where they, only they could get in, but no one could get out. And... No, and humans and can't pass through the barrier, though. Humans couldn't. No one could. Human, exactly. Yeah, neither could Rayquaza. So, e a, so even, dude, even if Deoxys created the barrier specifically for Rayquaza... He inevitably kept it up because it prevented any electronic signals from getting in or leaving, and then it could round up all the ones that were getting in the way, put them in a separate area, and then search for its friend. Yeah, but he wouldn't know that was the case. He didn't know that was the case. He's, he's, he's an alien DNA Pokemon. No, he did, because he could see it. It's literally in the movie. They literally explain in the movie that uh, Deoxys is going out of his way to remove anything that has a similar signal to his friend, to get it out of the way so he can better find his friend. That's why they were putting everyone in the storehouse and all the machines too. This is literally part of the, I do, I remember this one specifically. And it's so like do It's like electromagnetism. I. And so do I. Okay, we're gonna have to have a movie day. <laughs> Wait, okay, comment down below which one of us you think is, is more right. Well, <laughs> first off, I'm making you remember this stuff. No, I mean about the barrier specifically. If you think you know which one of us is more right or wrong, feel free to say. And then we're going to go watch that movie and probably come back and be like, yeah, no, we figured it all out. Yeah. No, I swear to God. No, I just feel like I, I need to I bring swear, up Serbia I again. swear to God. First off, Deoxys was kidnapping everybody first. <laughs> Second, Deoxys notices Rayquaza coming down from the sky. Third, Deoxys was in the defense mode form, creates the barrier to prevent Rayquaza from coming into the city. It was to prevent Rayquaza from coming to challenge Deoxys. And after Rayquaza broke through the barrier after like 24 hours of attacking it, constantly hyperbeaming it. Yeah. When he broke through, then he challenged Deoxys. You think he was capturing things before putting up the barrier? He was capturing people before the barrier, including including the machines. Cause oh. Because there was a point where um, um, there was a there was a Deoxys clone that had one of the hot dog things. That yeah, were, no, that's the scene I'm remembering. He was yeah, trying to get it out of the way. Yeah, he was, I thought that was no, after no, 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 he put up no, the barrier. no, no. But the thing is, he didn't put it in. The, he didn't take the thing into the storage. When when the when the thing was activating for a while and doing it powered thing, off. It powered off. The, the, the Deoxys clone dropped it and, and it dropped it into the water. Yeah, it dropped yeah. it because it wasn't making that uh, the electromagnetic sim signal anymore, and so it wasn't a, uh, something in the way, so it didn't need to carry it away. I believe that, man. But, no, but like, I'm pretty sure the main characters say that specifically. No, yeah, they did. They explained it why they they, they, they were curious why it was dropping it. They only, yeah, that was their theory. Their, I believe the theory. Yeah. But anyway, uh, we got to a turn of scene, so we should wrap up now. <laughs> we're just fighting about the set of the movie. <laughs> man, I'm enjoying it. I, I, love, I love Destiny Doxus. I love Jirachi Wishmaker. I love the Manaphy movie, which a lot of people So I'm going to go home and I'm going to draw Slime Rancher art while watching this movie. Because yep. I need to verify things. My brain is clearly scattered. It's been so long. Uh, you know what? How am I supposed to draw Elder Rooster Rose while I'm trying to figure out if Dioxus is punching or kicking? I swear to God, I'm telling you everything I know about this movie. Okay, okay. Anyway, let's wrap it up. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Pokemon um, Shining Pearl, the series. I've been Big LT. I've been S.F. Parker. Next time, uh, we're just going to explore Eterna City and a few of the areas in the... Hey, at in... least we made going through Eterna Forest less painful yeah. with our conversation. Oh, and by the way, just so everybody's aware, why didn't I not talk to the four fishermen out on the pier? Magic Harps. Pretty much. Lots of magic arps. What do we get for training later? I might battle them off screen, but I didn't feel like it was necessary to battle them on the screen because one yeah. of them has like a team of six magic arps, and I didn't want to put that on the video. Oh, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty quick sure. Quick question Was there any Pokemon you wanted to catch in this area besides Baneri? There are a few. Um, I'm either going to make the decision to bring him into the next episode. Or in between this episode and the next episode, or somewhere somewhere on the lines. Uh, I'll make the decision somewhere on the lines. I was more curious if you wanted to start switch training them along with Veneri, or if that's going to be a little different. I might, actually. Um, yeah, that was my only thing. It's like, 
But that's, they're but, so close. But the thing is, because of some of the stuff I want to do in Eterna City, <laughs> one of the one of the few things would be like, oh, I can't really go and get this because it requires something I want to put into the video because it's... Ah. There is a Pokemon I can technically get right now that I could technically catch off screen. But where's the fun of that? Exactly. Yeah. I was just curious. So at least everyone knows they have another team member upcoming to look forward to. Right. So, anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care. See you guys next time. Like, share, subscribe, and goodbye. Bye.